Hello and welcome to another Beard Clipper video. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. And if you're not, please do click that subscribe button below. It's awesome to see how many of you are interested in my videos. And don't forget to ding the bell so that you're told whenever one of these videos goes live. This video is the first in a new series. I don't know how regular it will be. And um, it's also me trying out a new technique of filming. I'm going to be showing you some simple painting techniques. Now I'm no master painter, I would never claim to be. I'm improving all the time against myself and that's all that matters. Top tip, don't compare yourself to others. Use them for inspiration, of course, but only compare yourself to what you were doing the day before because that's how you improve and that way, hopefully it doesn't get too depressing because there are some amazing painters out there. What I'm gonna show you in this series are some really, really simple techniques that I've developed to paint quickly and to get a good result. And in this particular video, I'm gonna show you me painting this dire bear. And the purpose of the video is to show how to paint furs. Now this is a living creature, obviously. Uh, well, it's a plastic, but it's a model of a living creature. What this technique is more useful, mainly for me, is painting furs on people's clothing. So if they're wearing a bear fur, it comes from that kind of a creature. So I'll shut up now, I'll get the camera pointed down, and I will show you the very simple three steps that I use to paint furs. So, step one. What you can see here is I'm getting my surface primer. Now I use the grey surface primer here from Vallejo. This is technically for airbrush, however I've found it to be perfectly fine to apply with a brush as you can see. Uh, it is 74.601 and what I do is I get a full covering and I don't do it too thick. So I put the paint on and then I go over the whole model again to spread it out a little bit. Doesn't take very long. Step two is the main color. This is Vallejo's German Camouflage Orange Ochre, which is 70824. What you can see is I've put some onto my wet palette, but I also am wetting my brush very regularly so that I get a nice thin coat. Now you might sometimes need to do two coats, as we all know, two thin coats. However, I've found that you don't really need to, not, not when you're doing this technique. I've found that doing the one coat is perfectly sufficient. And all I'm doing here is making sure that I'm covering everything except for the snout and the claws. And it's a very quick process. It took me about three or four minutes in real elapsed time, and then I had to leave it to dry. The time between each of these clips is probably a few hours because I want to let it to dry completely between clip, between coats, but the time elapsed is very, very minimal. I've left that for a little bit. It's now totally dry. I now get my Citadel shade, Agrax Earth shade, magic in a bottle. You can see that I've got a little kind of like thing that I sit to the uh, um, Citadel pot in to stop it from being knocked over, which is absolutely brilliant. And I'll pop links to that in the uh, description below. But this is the trick. I'm putting a very heavy wash of Agrax Earth shade over the whole model, apart from the claws and the snout. And then what I do is I let that to dry. And frankly, that's it. There we are, easy as that. That's how I paint fur. Here you can see the results of the painting at this stage. Uh, I take these photographs inside the photo booth that I did a video to show you how to make, which is gonna be linked in the description below. And later on, during the same day, I actually finished off this miniature, so I've got a picture of it as well here. So you can see just not very much added to it, but it didn't take very long at all past what effort I put in for just the fur. But yeah, there you are. That's how, that's how it looked. So there you are. I hope that that was useful and interesting. Uh, and I hope that the new style, or which won't probably be used very much, but will be for these videos, I hope the new style was uh, quite comfortable and easy to watch. Obviously this is a technique, like I've said, that I would normally only use for small sections of fur, maybe or if someone's wearing a cloak or whatever. But it works really nicely for animals as well, and I had that dye bear to paint, so I thought, you know what, let's get it done. Any comments, any suggestions, any alternative methods, I'd love to hear them. Please drop them in the comments below. Uh, it's always wonderful whenever I get a comment on one of my videos, I love it. And uh, yeah, and I'll definitely reply and, uh, and look forward to hearing from you if you do have anything like that to say. Uh, and yeah, I will close off by saying, don't forget to subscribe. 
ding the bell so that you're informed when one of these videos goes live. And thank you ever so much for watching another Beard Clipper video.